What's good with y'all man, it's Kyle Sosko back with another video. In today's tutorial, I'm just going to be showing you guys a quick way to make your own gradient maps. And what gradient maps do is it can really bring out your shadows that you want to show off or your highlights. So you see right here I brought out some of uh, James Wiseman upcoming draft pick. Uh, some of the shadows on his uh, design that I created. I haven't posted this one yet, but I might. Then on the Darren Fox one, it's kind of more subtle, but I still put the shadows over the actual normal uh cut out mask but then i add the purple shadows just to make it have like that little effect and then so yeah that's what we're going to be doing today it's going to be a quick tutorial so that you guys just pick up some good information really fast all right and i even have jamal murray already masked just so you guys um just just for time's sake because i want this to be a quick tutorial and you guys just learn so if you guys don't know how to mask um you can look up plenty of tutorials and i always say i use the pen tool pen tool gives you the best representation when you're masking out things so just use the pen tool and if you hold down your mouse you can actually curve the pen tool and things like that all right and then once you're done with with uh, different selections you're gonna mess around with uh, usually add selection but if you need to subtract selections it's right there so that's what you're gonna do with the pencil okay all right so once you have your player masked out or whatever you're gonna use masked out you're gonna make a duplicate copy to do that press ctrl j on your keyboard ctrl j i'm making that duplicate copy and then you're gonna bring up the semicircle right here and you're gonna add a gradient map okay so you're gonna add that gradient map right there and clip it to your player or your object whatever you're clipping it to so you're gonna hold down alt or command on the Mac and then clip it to the layer that you want so now you see it's from black to white but to bring out the shadows we want it to be from white to black so I'm gonna go right in there I click right on the gradient map and I'm gonna change this black to white and this and this gray to a black okay and now from here you're gonna mess around with this slider right so this slider is gonna control how much shadow you're gonna bring out right so what you're gonna do is just pick where you where you feel like a good amount of shadow is I feel like right there is good for me okay you're good right there and now you're gonna hold down control and you're gonna you already have your gradient map selected you're gonna select the new uh, Jamal Murray copy that you have and then we're gonna press Control E to merge them together. All right. So once they're merged together, click on your gradient map layer. So click on it by holding Control, then just click on it. And we're gonna press Control C. Control C is to copy it. Control C. Let's add a layer above. Okay. And then we're gonna hide the the gradient map layer. We can actually hide this layer as well. We don't really have to necessarily, uh, but you can hide that layer as well. But the next thing that you're gonna to wanna to go to is you're gonna go to your channels right next to your layer. If you don't have your channels, you can bring it up in your workspace and stuff like that. You can bring up your channels when you go to the window. And uh, so we're gonna go over to the channels panel, right? And the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna add an alpha channel. So just click that plus button down there on the channels and we added a channel. Now the next thing you're gonna do is press Control V to paste, all right? Control V is gonna paste that mask in there. And what you're gonna do from that point is you can diesel you can actually don't deselect. Um, just keep your keep your uh, selection there. Bring on the RGB. Bring all the channels back, and then hide the alpha channel that you just created. Hide that channel. Now let's go back to our layers. So at this point, you can deselect the mask. So just deselect from there. Um, I always have this red layer mask up there. I don't even know why, but I add another layer mask above. So th this one's untouched, and then this one's gonna be the one that you're gonna mess around with, right? So after you deselect your layer and added a new layer on top of that, go to select, go to load selection, and then from the channels, we're gonna drop down. We're gonna use our alpha two channel. That's the one we just made. If you really wanna be uh, cautious, just name your channel. So I would just name it like alpha, or not alpha, I would just say Jamal Shadow, right? So then we're, we're really sure that we're using that one and then just hide them back right and then so we're on that layer mask that was just if you wanted to be extra careful we're gonna go to select load selection and we're gonna go Jamal shadow so that gives us the shadow now see that's our shadow right there that, that's what we're looking for and the next thing that you're gonna, gonna want to do is go to your gradient tool G is the shortcut or the gradient tool it just has a gradient across that you can find and we're gonna we're gonna pick our colors. So what color do we want to pick? I'll just go with black right now, just for right now, uh, just for demonstration purposes. And then with your gradient tool, just click that color real quick, 
and then just deselect from your mask and you can actually hide your normal mask now and see that brings out his his shadows that just brings out his shadows that's it it looks like it's black and white right now only because it's on a gray background see we could change like the background the background color to like any color and that really just brought out see it just brings out the shadows okay so for you guys to do the inverse from shadows to highlights or from highlights to shadows it's going to be the exact same steps except on the gradient maps you're going to flip flop your black and white so if it was black to white it's going to go white to black if it was white to black it's going to go black to white so that's how you guys are going to get your gradient maps you guys see on the designs right here i like to implement them i started implementing them pretty recently but um it's been, it's been pretty cool to do because you can really start doing a lot with them after you are done with your gradient maps you can add like gradients on top of that different colors like there's a there's a whole bunch of possibilities that you can do and there's just a whole bunch of possibilities you can do in photoshop so i appreciate you guys checking out this tutorial if it helped be sure to drop a like down below comment what you want to see from the channel and uh if you guys are new make sure you hit that red subscribe button until next time it's been castle scope stay scope y'all